Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Can you three, two. Let me get mad. What? Yeah, what's good, man? Zero. Nothing much, nothing much, man. Glad to have you on on the show, man. Welcome to the Wake and Bake Podcast, where we usually smoke a little bit, talk a little shit, and uh, this is <laughs> the day. I'm glad to have you here, man. Uh, what's your name? Uh, yeah, that's bit, man. No, no, my name is Greasy Dub, man. I'm a producer. And where you from, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I come, I, I'm originally actually from Zambia, from Africa. Yeah. Okay, okay. And yep, so, yep, yep. what? Who? Before we get into more of a deep dive, we usually yeah, yeah. give a shout out to our our sponsors. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah. On this yeah, yeah, episode, yeah. we I'm once again sponsored by uh, Gorilla Glue Number Nineteen. These guys just keep coming with the heat every single time, right, right, bro. Right. Every swisher yeah, that I yeah. smoke, so smooth. <laughs> the smoke, the, 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 yeah. the smoke is so clean. It's always a good time yeah. when you smoke Gorilla Glue Number Nineteen. Uh, Bones, I got my homie Bones in here with me. Yes, man. Uh, the baby barber slayer, you dig? Okay. And, uh, <laughs> I'm over here fucking around with these Skittles, seeing what they're about. You know what I mean? There we have it, man. So we out here. We out here. You know what I'm saying? Letting y'all know what's really good, man. Check out our sponsors. No, they did not call us and say, yo, promote our weed, but we would like them to. So, all right. Now, there's been a lot of stuff going on, bro, in the world. Every single place is pretty much going through some madness. So we're going to shed a little bit of light. Yeah talking about some stuff other than the madness you know what i'm saying like some things like for instance billboard announces new chart rules no merch and ticket bundles now do y'all know why they did this yes you, niggas is get, niggas getting down on the numbers it's not anybody is it's not anybody specifically that's getting down on the numbers it's i mean it is somebody specifically it's kenny chesney are you familiar with kenny chesney i'm not, I'm not. all right yeah, kenny yeah, yeah i heard about him yeah, yeah. he's a he's a country <laughs> artist um, oh, yeah. you're talking about the, the tickets and then he... Uh, he did a fake tour. And, yeah. He did oh, a whole yeah. fucking fake tour. You like, ruined it for everybody, man. You seen what Prince did for us, and you just ruined it for everybody. Everybody, man. What do you think about this, Brizzy? <laughs> uh, no, that, yeah, no. It's really... Well, you know, because I, I think the bundle thing, I don't know if it was him to do it first, because I know that Travis Scott did it as well some time back, and like a couple artists, like, you know, do, like, this whole merch... Uh, mixed with you know. Oh no, it was. I think you know, he, he was the sales. he yeah. was the artist that broke the camel's back. He was the last straw. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, that's all I was. Oh, he was at. the last straw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. was like yeah. once he did that, they were like, "All right, this is some bullshit. You gotta, we gotta stop doing this." We know that Prince was the first artist really to do something like this. You know what I'm saying? So it was, yeah. it was a big blow, man. Like it's like our artist gonna do numbers now. <laughs> or any yeah. uh, I think they I think how everything evolves, they gonna find a way to get around it. Cause you really telling me Drake is not about to still do numbers. You telling me Nikki is still not True. about to do numbers. You're telling me Travis Scott is still not about to do numbers. Okay, so look, I'm gonna I'm just go yeah. ahead and I'm gonna I'm just read a little bit um from Billboard. Um on the issue of bundling, the latest rule changes supersede a number of others that were previously instituted in January. Those included a requirement that albums bundled with merchandise be available for purchase concurrently and individually on the same site, um, as well as a requirement that merchandise sold on its own be priced lower than bundles that include the album. So pretty much you oh, have so to you sell, can do it. Right. But you just have to do it correctly. A lot of these people were just trying to like buy if you each bought, chain, that's the album. Saying. Exactly. So you have to give them the option. No, you have to buy the album and then buy the ticket. And then you get it's the sale. You know what I'm saying? Right. For the most part. It's kind of weird uh the way that they're working it, but or if it's bundling, you can't have it to where the keychain ten dollars and you get the album for free. No, it right. got to be the keychain is five dollars, and then for ten dollars you get the album too. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Give us an extra ten, and you got it. Right. So you know it's it's a little tricky, but it still could be done. Yeah. So so it's not like they took it away, but the way that they was frauding it, like I don't think, I don't know, man. Maybe Nav won't get this. <laughs> like you know, maybe Nav can't get another number one because of this. You know, maybe I don't know. 
Oh, chill on that, man, my brown brother. <laughs> Shout out to the brown boys, though. What, what, you, what, what, what do you guys think about how, you know, Juice World, how he did, like, half a mil? Like, was that a, was that a bundle thing, or is it just, you know, no, no, just, no, just, no, just no, pure sales? It, and yeah, that was, streams. That's, that's posthumous numbers. That's what the numbers do like that yeah. when, when they die. Especially yeah. Yeah. Like him, man, he had such a, a high caliber yeah. of music before he passed, so. and he did numbers like that yeah. before he passed. He yeah. did like four hundred thousand yeah. his last album or right. something like that before yeah. he died. So that's about right. So do you think? So do you think like now it's gonna really expose artists? Like if, if they're not doing bundles, it's gonna actually expose who's really selling records. Like you know, like because yeah, most yeah. of these people are doing like this whole this merch thing together with an album to try yeah. to push their sales, but. I, ideally, like it's, you're supposed to, it's supposed to just be music. Like I think, I mean, if I'm, if, if people are streaming your album and you know downloading and doing everything, it should just be based on music and radio and everything. But if it's like you're selling merch and then you're saying that no, I've sold this amount of albums, I kind of feel like it's kind of like a game. You know, it's not, it's well, not really I, fair in a way. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think when they start when like Prince started it, what I yeah. think the original goal was is to make sure you got the bag, yeah. and that's the reason for the yeah. doing and the merch and stuff like that. Um, I oh, do yeah, think yeah, yeah, yeah. it is going to weed some of the 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 reachers. The lower performers. Yeah, the lower performers. It is the, like the people who do the, the navs and maybe right. like those people, but not yeah. the people like right. Travis Scott. And, right, right. No, see, saying? like yeah. nav literally like launched some B-Lone or some shit, like some expensive ass yeah. clothes with his, you know what I'm saying, as part of his album sales. It's like, yeah. son, that's Nike. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. can't do that. Like, yeah, that's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> you partner with <laughs> Nike. To sell your album, yeah, like, keep, you were selling just code, yeah. album merch. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, or or a t-shirt, like regular shit. But you literally have a stamp yeah. of approval. Like that's like that's like Drake bundling his album with Jordan. <laughs> like come on, nigga, we know you're gonna slap. You don't. Exactly. Jordan was gonna slap Fact. without you. Fact. You was gonna slap without it, but y'all just. I mean, you know, even on Nav side, you know, going back to artists like Nav, it's like God, they was gonna do them sales, nigga. Regardless, it wasn't because of you. Right. <laughs> yeah. So but, that's the thing with that, man. I mean, we can move on from it though, because I really want to talk yeah. about Kanye, because I was right. Yeah. Now, yeah. One of the more recent episodes um, of the Wake and Bake podcast, uh, Microchips in the Workplace, I called out the Kardashians. I said, I felt like they were pimping Kanye. Mm, you did yeah. say I said that on the episode, and it was fucking true. Kanye. Yeah has exploded on uh, Twitter. I know you've seen some of that stuff. Have you seen any of those tweets? Uh, yeah, I see those tweets. They're crazy. Yeah, I saw that this morning. Yeah, Everybody Pretty knows crazy. the movie Get Out is about me. Kim was trying yeah. to fly to Wyoming with the doctor to lock me up like the movie Get Out. Yeah. I cried about saving my daughter's life yesterday. I put my life on my God that North's mom would never photograph her doing Playboy. And that's on God. I'm at the ranch. Come get me. It's, I can continue. Like, it's really erratic. You know what I'm saying? Like, really kind of crazy. Yeah. NBC locked up Bill Cosby. Like, holy shit. Like, what's what's happening? You know what I'm, I'm saying? Album, man. Yeah. And we get it. We get it, man. But. Is this really new Kanye, though? Or is this something he's always done since the beginning of his career? It's the, it's the content, though. Because now he's lashing out yeah. at his family. Which is. Yeah, not- which is, like, pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, it don't seem like typical Kanye shit. That's not, not this. Because because everybody's talking about like when he has a new project, he always like rants and goes nuts. Like it's almost like a like you expect that you know because Don is supposed to drop on Friday, so it's like you expect right. that Kanye is gonna do some crazy ish to create some buzz. So people don't know if it's like because you know the Kardashians, even that whole show is a whole fake show. Like it's of course. it's like it's like a, it's like a facade of of, of their lives. So cool. you never really know what is really true and what's not. You never know if they're in if they're in it, this whole thing to create buzz of him. You know, you never really know. Like it's yeah. it's, it's, it's like Man, it is real. It's situation. real fake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. <laughs> that's why I, and that's my point though. With yeah. everything that happens in the Kardashians' lives and the way Chris Jenner um yeah. has been positioning her own family, I just yeah. would not be surprised if all of this is her orchestration. You know what I'm saying? Like, if she yeah. has been pulling yeah. the strings behind this nigga Kanye this entire time, yeah. we had no clue. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it just, I don't know, man. It, it's getting kind of wild. 
you know, I was uh, I was just telling Bones before we started recording. I was listening to Mortal Man by Con- yeah. uh, by, by by Kendrick, and I just yeah. thought, damn, my nigga, yay, man, when shit hit the fan. <laughs> Cause people questioning them all up and down social media. Oh, Kanye's not yeah. the genius you thought he was. And he looks pretty yeah. stupid. Ugh, I don't think he's yeah. a genius anymore. It's like slime. How yeah. do you not? How do you take that away from that man? You know, what he I'm was saying? crazy. We we thought he was crazy when he was doing the musical stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? When he said, "I'm a single auto yeah. tune," we like, "What? You crazy?" Yeah. Right. And he, yeah. Man, he yeah. Exactly. I mean, so I don't know, man. When he went against Fifty Cent. Be like, yo, you nuts, bro. Period. <laughs> and one. <laughs> and one. And one. Like, it's, you know, Kanye's done so much in his life. You know what I'm saying? He brought Jesus to hip hop on a mainstream level. You know what I'm saying? Like, he did a yeah, lot. To the clubs. I'll say the mainstream to the club. I mean, on a, on a higher level, then, because it's just the fact that people, a lot of people were more inclined to not listen to gospel on their own time until that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just see it like that. Like he helped people like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and then eventually it was a gospel rap genre that kind of spawned. I don't know when genre of gospel rap started, but I didn't hear about it pre, pre Jesus the graduation. That's me, uh, uh, college dropout. Yeah, yeah, so that's the thing. That's all I'm saying. Maybe Kanye created gospel rap. I don't know. No, we don't. Maybe that's a hot take. Yeah, but the king, <laughs> the king is the crate man. You gotta get that to the I mean, man. we we know he's the face. Yeah. He's the he's the face of it. But uh, we can move on, dog. Uh, yeah. What you want to say, Greasy? What you want to talk about? Uh, well, I I was actually like when you're talking about the whole sales thing, the billboard thing. I was thinking about how G E Z sold 8K. Did you hear about that? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I think like, I did. Everybody. Hear that. Was, everybody every, yeah, everybody was shitting on Smoke Prep because he sold 15k. So like, oh, he's like, because everybody's like, you know, Smoke Prep is the mumble rapper and whatever. So like, mm-hmm. when this superstar G G Easy like top top 40, you know, top 40 guy, like he dropped songs which are always like in the top 40, and then he sold 8k. It's like everybody's like, hey, the flop king now has become like G Easy, like he's the poster boy of like flopping. You know? so, like I kind of find that kind of funny, but you know, because I know like the direction of the album. Like I heard one of the singles. It's like. Kind of like alternative pop type of type of vibe. Uh, so like, I think it's it's different. It's different from what people, you know, Jeezy comes through with the bangers, like with the with, with peaches, the like Cardi B and all these people on it. Yeah, the dope singles. But he come he came through on this like punk tip, like. And I know I, I noticed like with white rappers, they they, they could kind of bend differently. Like MGK as well. He's doing this whole rock thing, and yeah. it's like they, they have they, they kind of have the you know the the. the they can actually bend and do whatever genre they want. And nobody will question and say, "Why is MGK doing rock?" You know. So I think he's trying to pull that, but it just failed. Like it's like it's not. Yeah, and I think it's so because like, oh, yeah, MGK yeah. kills that shit. Yeah, yeah. and I think it's I think it's too yeah. is because of the people G Easy is surrounded yeah. by. And I look at him as like, yeah. I don't want to say like a he like a French Montana of the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Because like you yeah. said, he always yeah. goes yeah. dope singles and the dope collaborations yeah. with the West Coast people. Yeah. We always chilling with the honeys and yeah. you know look like that. Yeah. White dude, you want to be around? You know yeah, what I'm no, saying? He, he did yeah. seem like he made the club music. Like he was like the white yeah. ASAP Ferg at the time. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, he, he had, he had the bangers. Club yeah. joints. You know what I'm saying? That were really hard. Yeah. And so I, to see that transition, yeah. it might take him some time. You know what I'm saying? Maybe yeah, yeah. Is he still with Hustling? Let him catch up with Hustling. What's that? Is he still with Hustling? Uh, no, no, he's not. No, they broke up. They broke up. Okay, yeah, I'm about to say if he catch up with Hustling, yeah. he's out of here. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, so yeah. it looked definitely on the court. Uh, anything else that you've noticed, though, in, like, in just mainstream news that you've seen? Uh, I think that's probably, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard. Like, we, I think I'm sure as, as as we go and some things will pop up, then I'll, I'll mention them, yeah. But for now, I was just thinking about that whole, that billboard thing, like when you said, like, how artists just, you know, the, the, the lack of consistency, how they flop. But, like, going back to, since we can, we're talking about GEZ, we go to MGK, like, I just think MGK, like, uh, like he he will set the storm of of Eminem. Like you know when he right. had that whole Eminem battle. Yeah. And people still say like he killed him. Like you know his he did. his track he did. Was, was was tough. And 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 he comes through with this rock vibe. And it's like I think he's he's a dope artist. Like I've kind of I've kind of like like you know giving him mad props. Like from that time of you know having the Eminem disc to transition into this whole rock thing. And he's just doing it in the right way. Like he's he's 
he's he's he's a white rapper, but you can tell the guy has like some poker somehow, like in what he's doing. He's not like he's not just and he's doing it out of like I think he's really like a punk dude. Like he probably like used to listen to punk music and all this all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, I mean, like, but that's the, that's the for, cultural not, appropriation yeah. we talk about though in, yeah. within hip hop yeah. though, because it's like you yeah. weren't even truly a hip hop guy. Yeah. You just used yeah. it in order to yeah. infiltrate. And, and, and I think, and, yeah. and I even think going back to the beat yeah. and going back because I see what yeah. I see what Greasy talk about. I'm just picking back. Mm -hmm. and he talk about he talk about yeah. like versus the music yeah. he talk I he do versus. Nigga, you just had a beef with one of yeah. the greatest rappers but ever, no, but and of you course. won. But no, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it's like, and I feel like when you go in two rap battles, it's different because yeah. it's a lot of yeah. underdogs who won that wasn't, Nas was the underdog. You know what I'm saying? Push your teeth yeah. with the underdog. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but also what I wanted to talk, touch on too, I see you posting uh, about if Drake went independent. Can you talk yeah, a little yeah. bit about that? In fact, it was, wasn't it, wasn't it uh, Focus who, post, who posted that? Was it me? No, yeah, it was yeah. you. I thought I seen it on your page. Yeah, you posted oh, it. I think it was Steve's top story, and we talked about oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, yeah. you're right. You're right. Yeah, I shared Yeah, my bad. I, I'm not, in fact, what I'm thinking about is this comment. Yeah, yeah. When I, we're talking about how, because I was trying to understand how, you know, how it would be like crazy, like for the music industry and all that, if Drake went, um, you know, uh, what's this, what, you know, independent. And you know, like, uh, like homie kind of like put me on and said, no, what it is, like, he has a well-oiled machine where he's, you know, he just has to like, you know, do a project, they give him a bag and then every, everything just like, kind of like fluidly works. And, you know, like, like, for example, like, you know, Khaled, you know, Khaled like knew, he's not gonna go and get Rick Ross or get any of these other guys who are not really the hardest. He's gonna go and get like, go to the top. He said, okay, dude, you know, give me two singles. As soon as that ish goes off, you know, it just, it just, it's like, it's like a Drake effect, you know, because yeah, it just I, works. But it just works. But going back to that, like I'm tying with the uh, with the whole, you know, you heard the story of uh, of Young Thug, how Young Thug had that uh, had that track on Puff Smoke's album, and then uh, what's this? Um, Pusha T did a verse dissing Drake and all that. So I was thinking, like, right. like Young Thug, you know, people look at Young Thug like he's an idiot, but if you look at Young Thug, he has like he literally has good relationships with all the big guys like the big dogs like the like the big three let's say Kendrick Cole and and uh and, and uh what's this um Drake he has good relationships with all these guys when he was doing so much fun J. Cole was in the studio you know giving him tips on you know do, uh, on, on 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 you know certain sounds and they did the London album and then also like with Drake he knows that anytime he needs the single he could easily like you know call up Drake and say oh Drake I need a verse I need this I need that so it's like he shows his loyalty to the point where he knows that like Having a Drake as a as a as an ally or as a friend makes it so easy for for him to be like to infiltrate the the game even even longer. Like like he's one of I think he's like truly one of the smartest dudes. Like people might think oh he's kissing ass and all that, but when I look at the whole thing, like he has a strategy. Like he's trying to make sure that those guys are you know they're just close by where he, like you know like Drake where he, oh oh he was actually like def def defending me about this Drake. You know let, I can easily like do stuff with him and all that. So just I'm just kind of trying to tie the whole. Like the Drake, like Drake is so huge that, like if you have that 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 card, that cheat code, you know it's, it's you can pop off like easily. You can easily have a big single, have like you know, as long as Drake is involved, you know it's gonna just blow up. Yeah. Right, right, and that's that's very true. But see, and uh, yeah, we do gotta move yeah. on just a little bit. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we kind of capped on time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I definitely want to talk about. Uh, I want to give a big congratulations. I'll put like the round of applause effect in here or some shit. Uh, Timberland yeah. and Swiss Beats doing team up with the with Apple Music. We seen uh, this coming. We seen this coming. Yeah, that's good. Cool. We didn't know who was going to get was the, the bag. We said yeah. something. Yep. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and read a little bit. Um, according to a press release, episodes will be yeah. sim simulcast live on Apple Music and Beats One simultaneously as a yeah. versus Instagram live challenge. They will also yeah. be exclusively available via Apple Music on demand following the live stream. Apple Music plans to work alongside Swiss and Timbo to produce new episodes of Versus to continue giving fans a truly premium, high quality share experience. Now, we know the next upcoming oh, battle. first things first. So basically you about to switch to iPhone. Ah oh, man, I mean, I think I was gonna go to iPhone anyway. I just been kind of just, you know, fighting it. I guess I don't know why. Um, I hate going home. Three months free. So, <laughs> oh, man, yeah, I might have to go ahead and go to iPhone. But 
Um, did I say it's Snoop Dogg versus Snoop? Yeah. yeah, Snoop Dogg versus DMX is coming uh, up. Yeah. yeah, July 27th. Yeah, that's to- that's tomorrow. Saying? Who y'all going? Yeah, that's, man. I, you know, it's so tough. Like, <laughs> like, like, this is probably the battle. Like, of course, like the Fab and, and Jada, because, you know, I'm personally, like, Fab is, like, my top 10. So, uh, just out of, I mean, of course, Jada is a lock, is a rap, he's like a rap nigga, you know, and he does his, his thing. But I just love Fab. Like, Fab was one of the dudes which, you know, influenced me because I, I lived up in the East Coast of the, of the States and all that. So, I love Fab so much. So, like, it's one of those where I was biased. But with this one, like, who can I say I love more between D and, and Snoop? Like, it's it's one of those, like, yeah. you don't know because Snoop, Snoop can pull those 90s records, you know, from, you know, Gin and Juice and all those drinks. So up much to, like, time. I, I think that too. It's like, it's crazy because cause the longevity, like, the, 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 if you look at his discography compared to D, Snoop, Snoop wins just because of, the, like, from the 90s, early 90s up to, you know, late 2000s, the dude has hits, like, throughout. But D, the impact that D had in the short time because D had like uh he had like from probably 98 to like early 2000 he had a short like you know period where he was really popping but yeah, that yeah. time that he did pop the, the influence that it had was like it was crazy like it's so it's I really don't know man how it's gonna go because it, yeah. it hits you in a different like emotionally you don't know how to, how it's gonna take you because those tracks like tie emotions to you like I don't like what the new stuff that comes out today doesn't have that you know doesn't have that effect where you feel like you remember where you were when you heard this joint and you know stuff like exactly, that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No, I can feel it. Yeah. I can feel it. So yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm definitely leaning more yeah. towards Snoop. I just. Think, <laughs> yeah. I just think that because it might be an age thing too. Because DMX had like yeah. His run was only like what five years. Maybe five. Yeah. His run, yeah. but he still like got a hard run after that. Yeah. Like, hard run. yeah. A lot of those DMX songs, bro. They were so hard. Yeah, he killed it, man. Yeah, albums work with just fire. Oh, like, uh, man. And even though too, it was that only a few albums, at least they were so packed. With even his features, though. Like, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, man. yeah I mean, oh, come man. on. Uh, look, they made a playlist. Yeah, Sean Jigga, man. But see, look at the God, songs man. they got next to each other. Look, Stop Being Greedy, Gin and Juice, Crime Story, yeah. Who Am I? This is a playlist that, uh, from Apple Music. Uh, okay. Some X shit featuring DMX. Uh, doggy dog world. Come on, it's all good. Yeah. Bitch, please. Come on, bitch, please. Yeah, hold on, wait. Yeah, no, that's just ain't crazy. no fun that's just will crazy. probably destroy everything. I don't think, I don't think DMX can beat ain't no fun. Oh, no, slip and fall. <laughs> that's so, uh, man, you would be oh, a terrible, bad. terrible person to take the fucking mood from there to there. I'm the saying if you want to compare like, songs, that, you, I thought we were comparing iconic songs, though. They both yeah, iconic I, songs. I'm just, I'm going, if, no, they if both this are, is a They both are two of the greatest hip-hop songs of all time. They are. Yeah, they yeah, yeah Come on, man. Like, I don't think you can beat Ain't No Fun. UGK, man, UGK would be great, but who would they go against? Who do you think, really? Uh, UGK, man. Wow, that's a tough one, man. Like I really like they're all, they're kind of like in their own pocket. Like you can't, I don't know, man, because it has to definitely be an, another southern, uh, you know, group. Maybe because I wouldn't say maybe Outkast because that's totally oh, left. So I really don't know yeah. who you be taking uh, going. Eight ball but I, MJG. I really don't know. Eight ball MJG, no, nah, man. Like they could, but I feel like it'll be just like a, a legacy, a legacy play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it'd be fun for yeah, the it's gonna be tough. Uh, maybe like the eighties babies and shit. It won't really be like everybody. Yeah, I mean Yeah, it's definitely not. most certainly. Uh but we can continue. So look on some local news. Yep. Uh, I know you are yep. where you are <laughs> and we are where we yeah, are. I doubt. But man, no doubt, no doubt. this is a big thing that just happened in our area, man. Out here in Detroit, man, a woman was charged yep. in a two million dollar unemployment insurance fraud. Now, she yeah. was a contract employee uh, working for unemployment. Um, and so, I guess I'll read a bit of it. Brandy Hawkins, 39, of Detroit, worked in the state's unemployment insurance agency with duties that included reviewing, processing, and verifying the legitimacy of unemployment insurance claims for the state, according to U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider's office. Now, Eventually, they searched her home, um, and they turned up with $200,000 in cash, in bags, and some other luxury items, all things 
consider uh, are pointing to the fact that I think not only um, was she not the brains of this operation, but she was only charging people to take percentages of their money. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, to get them through. Yeah. yeah. So she was. She's a. What or you, she or it's tell. probably bigger than that, bro. It's probably probably get even deeper than that. Bro. She gonna tell, bro, on <laughs> everybody. Like you, if she only got found with two thousand dollars in her home, which means she was. That means. It's a bunch of other people involved. Like I said, she was That's probably money. opening the floodgates. That's what everybody was talking about. Like they, everybody out here was saying, like, catch the wave, catch the wave. Like that was like the phrase. Yeah. And it, it was pretty <laughs> much that was pretty much what it was. Like this shit. Like and it, it's nuts. It's nuts. Like it's really like people gonna go down. <laughs> no, I don't think people gonna go down. I don't think they gonna go down. No, she gonna tell. Sure. On everybody involved. Oh, yeah, everybody like you involved, can't you yeah. can't scam the motherfucking government. You can't. You can't. You can't. <laughs> if, if you did it, they let you. <laughs> like, I promise you, nigga. If they if you if you scam the US government, they saw it and it was like, let's see if he scam a bigger amount next time. <laughs> let's see, let's see how far this right goes. Straight up, straight up entrapment shit, man. You know the US government don't play that shit. Nigga, go ahead, keep racking up bullshit, and we gonna come catch you when you got 17 of them bitches. You know what I'm saying? And we give you 17 counts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's exactly how they do this. Yeah. So when the fans are showing like a 90% conviction rate, okay. oh, you going do because <laughs> they got all the proof. So I hope if everybody she gonna say safe, she's still gonna go down. She gonna go down, of course. <laughs> no, you have yeah, to she go to you gotta make an example out of you, sure. From 20 years uh to 19. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's, That's crazy. It's a hey, man. It's a lot going on here in the states, man. When it comes, we about to, to find that out a lot of these shit. people, bro. A lot of these people is about to start coming out the woodworks that they was doing fraud and shit. Oh no, I've been seeing a lot of people. Yeah, all through the news, it's crazy. But it's getting they cracking down because it's money that needs to be paid back. Like they just gave out all this free money. You know what I'm saying? And now they kind of they like sign. No, now, only, now it ain't nothing. It ain't really time to pay it back. I don't think that it's really time to pay it back. But now it's like, all right, now what? No, now the money it. is gone. No, they need you know what I'm it. That's they what I'm saying. Because they're about to pay And more. nothing is open, so we're not spending the money as fast. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're not spending no, the money see, as fast. That's part of the problem, too, is people are hoarding the money. Some people are hoarding their shit. Like, a lot of people didn't go out and spend. You know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, that's just the simple fact of the matter. You so, got hit with $10,000, right. and you ain't never been... You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, a coin shortage. Like, what's happening? You know what I'm saying? What's really they trying to on? switch to <laughs> digital money? Yeah. Digital money is it, man. I the, promise it the, is. The crypto. Yeah. I promise America is going to come up with their yeah. own crypto and it's going to be a bad yeah. <laughs> So I don't know. I'm, I'm eager to see what the U.S. government pulls off next because these niggas is wilding. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Like, yeah. I think. Espe that should be like especially a Trump, like it's crazy. I think that should be a segment straight but, up, nigga. These niggas is wilding world news. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what do you guys think about the whole, <coughs> the whole Biden situation? Like, like how you know, like Democrats are not really feeling him. You know, like he's not somebody like it's like a hard thing where Trump, of course, so like if you're a black person, you just don't want to vote for Trump because of you know the injustice and everything that's happening. But like Joe Biden also feels like he's not suitable like he feels like he's weak you know what i'm saying i don't know that's the that's the view i'm getting i don't know how you guys look at it like you feel he's able to actually make a change and, and or things are actually going to get better but it's like because I, I almost felt like i almost felt like bernie sanders was a better pick you know for the whole situation but right now it looks like yeah, this whole joe biden thing is, it's kind of looking no, it's not looking it's not looking good yeah no so yeah i mean no I, and I'm, I'm with you so um yeah. Now this is not a political show. I try not and to. Then, do, and I don't, and I don't like to talk politics. Yeah, yeah. yeah and so yeah, uh, but yeah, I will yeah. say, um Yeah. Both of the candidates are shitty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll say that. I'm, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. But I will yeah. say when yeah. Biden went on the interview with Charlemagne and he said what he said yeah. and rubbed me the, the yeah. wrong way. And that's actually, something that's, along that's, the that's lines. That's the point I was trying to Vote for me because that's the point that I was trying to bring. Yeah, no, they they yeah, literally like the, go because because you're black, you're supposed to vote Democrat. Like that's like 
the thing yeah. though. That's a, it's implied yeah. though. That's implied We're in married life. To Demo- Demo- that's Democrats. implied in life, bro. That if you're black, you have yeah. to vote that way. It's implied. Yeah, like it's like like by default, you just have to. Vote. Sorry for making it political, but since you guys were talking yeah. about, no, kind of right. went that way. But my bad. Yeah, no, current events. <laughs> current events. Now you're right. So yeah. I understand. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. but uh, it's not a a ton really on the menu. But what I can do is um, I can play a song because I am so down with getting copyright claims. Like I really don't give a fuck. Yeah. What do y'all think <laughs> about yeah. this song here, man? New Drake. Oh, uh, it's hard, man. You fucking with it? Yeah, that that drink's hard, man. That's tough, man. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> you know, you know, everybody's talking about the whole weekend stealing the whole flow, but you know, like I actually posted about this where I was like, I feel like Drake deliberately did this to sh- to pay homage, like, cause you know, like they had a, they had a whole beef and they had that war joint, the war track where where Drake said, uh, you know. That boy that that boy that sing like like Michael or whatever like he, he was like uh, he's still my nigga though something like that he's, I don't can't remember the exact line but like the weekend had beef with Drake and you know Drake said, popped, like did that line where he said I still mess with that boy who sing like Mike you know like frame of the weekend then yeah. now he had a song where he strate- strategically deliberately sounded like the weekend I think it's just like showing like okay like homie like I feel like like you're you're my nigga and I'm doing your style but you know what I don't care here it is like and. That's that's kind of like if you look at it at that angle, I, I I mess with it. But other people, I'm like, yo, he stole the weekend, or the weekend's flow, and I'm like, how do you steal the flow from your homie? Like, you guys came up together, you know, they made bread together. This Drake's biggest album was with the weekend, so I think it's I think it's just love. And for me, I feel it like it's a vibe, like it's dope. But I don't know what what you guys think. I didn't ever think about it like that. I mean, no, yeah, I definitely kind of had that yeah. similar perspective. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where it's kind of yeah. like. Yeah. It's a flow, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas yeah. still flows every day. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. like everybody was rapping like right. the Migos for a long, long time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. whatever. And if the song's good, then so yeah. be it. With this one, I yeah. think I got to be somewhere. Like, I might have to go on vacation again or some shit. Yeah, some you know shit what I'm like saying? That. Like, maybe. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I just don't feel you, this right in the mood. I'm not on a yacht. Like, yeah. I'm on a boat. Like that's some boat yeah. shit. This is boat uh, music. Now y'all know what track I'm fucking <laughs> yeah. with. Yeah. Three headed goat, man. Lil Dirt, uh, Lil Baby, yeah. and uh, Polo G. That's so hard. Yeah, that's hard, man. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. That's tough. I think anything that Lil Baby's on is like, like Lil Baby for me is like he's killing. He's like reminding me of Wayne, like Wayne's Run. You know, like he's like the the, the modern yeah. version of Wayne's Run right now. He's killing it. I'm with you. I'm with you. No, I mean, yeah. this man is crazy, man. Like, this man is crazy. He's spazzing, bro. He's spazzing. That boy, little baby, on play. Nah, little baby's mad, bro. All right, all right, all right, all right. But, yes, man, like, that is a dope track. I definitely fuck with that one. But it wouldn't even be appropriate, though, if we didn't talk about the other Drake track. I'm sorry. We got to talk about them both. Yeah, I'm talk the about both, side. man. So I guess we can put this yeah. all in like one mini video. We can call it reviews. We can do these yeah. reviews, man. So, pop star, man. We the best now, this one I could kind of get with immediately. Like I kind of was like, right. yeah. And the flow's nuts. Like yeah. I fuck with it, but I don't like the hook like that. Really, like doctor. I'm not a doctor. Like that's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, can you just give us the album, bro? <laughs> he needs to drop. Like, he gave us the Man, Drake, shit. stop giving us mids, bro. <laughs> but we know he do that, bro. He know we do that, bro. He always give us the mids first. But see, my thing is... He's yeah. full feed us, though, and then he just wheel us in. Whoosh. Yo, after for free, we expect it. For free again, like for free level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like that on that level. Like I wanted that again from him with Khaled every now. But even like, because did that come out before or after views? That That was was pre. That was like right before. He does use DJ Khaled as a launching pad. Goddamn, he used, he used not even him. (laughs) It's just like he gave you a couple Lucy's. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Then he do some features. Then you get a Khaled joints. You know what I'm saying? Then like, boom. You know, you know, you know what I what I what what I really wonder is it is it do you do you think that Khaled like had the beat and everything and said, "Yo, Drizzy Drake, I want you to jump on this shit." Or do you yes. think Khaled? Because you know, like with Khaled, because you know he flew out to Toronto like for for some time, like. He went to Drake studio and all these children. You know, they call it like they 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 they, they have like you know this huge ass mansion and everything. So he went there. So now I'm thinking like, did Drake have this stuff stashed up? And Cal is like, oh man, this is dope. Let me let's use this. Or do you think he actually orchestrated this whole? Like I, I oh. feel like I don't know if how oh, I don't know I, how I'm not gonna I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say yeah. Cal is yeah. a smart dude, so I'm gonna say both. Yeah, I think Cal maybe okay. had a yeah. a track for him, and then heard the track and was like, you know yeah. what? Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah bet. All right, let's do them both. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's probably how it I, I think he might have led, definitely led, led him towards Greece. He was like, dog, yeah. I see the vision. I can see it. Yeah. It looks like amazing. It's it's the best. Yeah. I promise. <laughs> and I guarantee that was how the conversation went, and it was great. They made yeah. Greece. Once again, I pop star, I like more right now. I might walk this yeah. back. Um, is there any other songs? Anything I think Popstar is definitely, it's definitely a bit. Uh, right now, man, I'm listening to so much stuff, different, different things, man. I don't know if you're messing with the whole New York scene, you know, the the, the woo, the, the, that Pop Smoke album. And now, I don't know I, if you guys are messing with that. I have not, I, I was supposed to sit down and listen. Um, yeah. yeah, my boy Bones told me I should listen, he said it was good. Yeah, um, I was yeah. expecting, um, uh, him to kind of do some of the same sounds as his previous album. Yeah. So I wasn't. Yeah, but it's totally different. Excited. But yeah. yeah, yeah, I heard that. Yeah. So I, I think I'm gonna give it a chance. Um, yeah. I'm gonna give it a shot. Wait, what are we gonna talk? Uh, uh, the wolf too. Oh yeah, the yeah. pop smoke, pop smoke yeah. album. Yeah, I think um, cause he dropped he dropped a deluxe too, like with 15 tracks uh, on Monday. Then he had the you know the, the album dropped two weeks ago, something like that. But I just like how, like with this album, there's different sounds, like different, there's a different side of Pop Smoke, which we never got when he was alive. Like, you know, with the Pop Smoke we knew before, we're just like drill music, same beats, you know, same same vibe. But he has like love songs on this joint. He has like different features with like Sway Lee and, you know, Roddy Rich and King Combs, different, different artists. So I think it's it's kind of cool. Even the little baby and the baby joints called for the night. It's, it's tough. So I like the the mix and 50 um, executive produced it. So like 50's hand in, in this whole thing was like, Quite impressive. Like I really like what I'm. I'm messing with that right now a lot. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, and it seemed like Fifty's yeah. just a, a better behind the scenes ass nigga, man. Like. Yeah, I think so, man. He, that's his. That's his calling. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. he still makes music, man. He makes it, but he don't need to. Man, he don't need yeah, to. Yeah, he does. I think mean, if you're a rapper, man, we always gonna love that shit, man. Yeah, for facts. Uh, so it's not too much more on my docket. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't know if you guys discussed the whole Tory Lanez. Uh, uh, you know what? You, you didn't. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, you did. You did. Yeah. No, you did not. <laughs> so man. Oh, you did not. Yeah. 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 What do you oh, think about that? That shit <laughs> is trick. Not. I mean, because at first I'm like, yo, was he trying to like, stop her from escaping? Was yeah. That like, what happened? Her? <laughs> but then I had to think about it again, and since they're not cooperating with the police, maybe yeah. and, 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 Megan, and Megan don't seem anti-Tory. Right, right you know now, right. I think she would be more openly. But but I think her manager had said. I mean, her not her manager, but her bodyguard or something had said something like on the story or whatever. Yeah, uh, some of them he will never be apart from her again or something like that. So that was a big deal, though, man. Like I. Just to see this nigga Tory Lanez with no shirt, barefoot, dog. He was he went to booking and was miserable, nigga. Like the nigga was half naked. <laughs> like he was miserable as fucking bookings, bro. I promise. Like that had that was. Do you think do you, do you think they have? Do you think they had a relationship though? Because I don't I don't yeah. I don't get how how a nigga could just shoot a chick like like. Dude, I artists. promise, like, bro. Like what would cause like what would cause awesome. a guy to reach? What would cause a man, and like this is not just any lady, like this is the like the biggest <laughs> hip hop rap female rapper in the world. Like literally, she's the biggest like female rapper. She won a BT award and all that. Like, why would someone go to that far? Like, he couldn't think. Like, okay, man, I'm not. I can't. I can't hit this girl. Like, as much as 
we have something going on and whatever. Like, what is the effect of that? Like, what happens to Tori? Like, if this all comes out that he did shoot her and all that, what happens to his career? Like, do yeah. are we still going to be messing with Tori the same way? Are we going to listen to his music? Is and he going to be canceled? Like, what, what happens? Like, Because, man, that nigga like, like, is like, I love Stupid Again, yeah. nigga. Like, I be bumping. Like, this song. Hey, yeah, that is that shit. Yo, that, shit, is, that, shit, that, that, shit. Is, that shit is on my playlist, man. It's hard, I man. I promise it's on my playlist. Like, it's, he got joints, yeah. bro. So I would forgive the man. Like, you know, sometimes we fuck up. Yeah. Musically, I'm going to bang him. <coughs> That's the simple yeah. thing. I'm never going to hold people accountable for the Let's personal life play things. Let's see how this plays Yeah, we I have to kind of see, like, accident. really what happens. I really do think it was an accident. Because uh, like I said, I was really looking at it kind of sketchy, especially everybody started pointing out his height and weight. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> that was why the, the theory was he flipped out on her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> immediately, yeah. this, this short-ass nigga with this tall woman, they immediately think he has a fucking complex. You know what I'm saying? So Because it's, it's like he has like he has a, he has a short temper. Like you, you guys see the clip a couple of years ago where he was arguing with Travis? And yep. he was like, he was yep. in a tour bus, and he was yeah. like, you know, oh, you want to catch the feed, my nigga, and all that. Remember that? Oh, shit. Yep, yep, I do. Yeah, so I think the dude has a short fuse, like, because, like, like, honestly, like, yeah. Travis, like, who that, like, who, like, it's crazy. Like, the guy really, like, wanted to go and fist fight Travis Scott, like, the, like, the biggest rapper, like, the biggest, like, he just doesn't like, care. I think he's, like, one of those kids who just, now when he's it comes crazy. To life, yeah. Like, <laughs> You can't bring that yeah. point up. Like you can't bring up, oh, but he's the and he's the biggest. That don't matter. Yeah. Like, you feel like you've been disrespected as a man. Sometimes yeah, I, don't I guess know, it's true. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't know yeah. what happened in that. Yeah. So I don't know the background of that fight. I just remember the video. But I definitely yeah. check you if you if I don't matter. I don't, I don't care who you are. You know what I'm saying? We gotta yeah. discuss this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, no, that was nuts. That was nuts. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think I had a little bit more. Uh, okay. I got. Uh, I got, Okay, here you go. I, I might have one or two things too, but yeah, you. you okay, go. go ahead. Go ahead. We don't give you room. No. What about what about uh, Nick Cannon? The whole Nick Cannon situation. Of course. Like this whole him getting, you know, the comments he made and everything, and then he was like coming through on some suicidal, like you know, tweets. And what do you think? Do you think that's a facade? Like you know, like. Like, I think, like, if somebody wants to kill themselves, they're just going to kill themselves. I don't think they're going to start, like, publicly crying out, like, to, to, to people to feel sorry for them and all this shit. Like, I, I mean, like, with everything what, going on in the you world, know, world yeah. you may never know. But you don't. But you don't. Yeah. And that's yeah. nice. Um, but, yeah. I mean, at the same time, at times, you just feel away. And that may, might have just yeah. been a third of moment. I'm feeling kind of whack. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it was a cry yeah. out. I mean, you know, maybe it was a real cry out for help. Or maybe it was a yeah. tent horn. Who knows? But at the yeah, end of the day, yeah. the whole situation, Um, I mean, yeah. that kind of shit, man, keep that kind of talk in. If you're going to talk like that, man, don't do that shit yeah. on camera. Yeah, yeah, that's just crazy. You're no, nuts. Because you don't have no, like, because at the end of the day, that shit is like, it's like pseudoscience. You know what I'm saying? Like yes. it's, it's a fake version of proof. Like it's one of those systems where you kind of don't have really all the facts to really super yep. back your claim. So you can't, and it's yeah. gonna offend the people who are among that. Because I, I just found out um, uh, from third party Jewish person, um, they told me that uh, yep. for the most part, and I had like no real idea of what happened in, in World War II and why Hitler wanted to do what he did. Um, but yeah. uh, I was informed that uh, since they, he was, you know, the stereotype was that the Jewish people have all the money. So that is literally why Hitler rounded up a bunch of people and they went up and they pretty much was like, where's the money? You know what I'm saying? And when it was like, we don't have, we kind of like, you know what I'm saying? We regular people, like, we don't all have the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you doing Then once he's, once they, why are you doing money from the people? They kill them. You know what I'm saying? And so whenever somebody yeah. talks about Jewish people having all the money or having all the power, they immediately feel yeah. like, yo, that's that Hitler shit. 
You know what I'm saying? And I, I yeah, yeah. It, goes, it goes back to that. Like, it's like saying nigga. Yeah, yeah, it's like, no, it's not even like saying, it's, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hang you, nigga. Now we talking action. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Just saying, nigga, we know that's just a, a yeah, 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 like, just, yeah. but now you're talking about a plan of attack that was really used. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't like that. Yeah. And, and that's yeah. fair. It's yeah. fair to, for them to feel that way. And, but that's just something to take into consideration before you get on wax, nigga, and say some wild shit that could possibly yeah. get you fired and all type of shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, because he's in a position of power where he's like, you know, he's definitely like, he, he's at that point where everybody knows him. He's famous. So he, he kind of like, of course, like you don't want to water down what you say, but like you, you, you kind of have the kind of kind of have that PC. Like that's what Kanye like fails to have. He doesn't have that tact where he can't be politically correct. He just says whatever, like the Harriet Tubman thing and all that. Like, like his intention, like of what he says, sometimes like can draw people the wrong way because you know it's just it's like disrespectful to diss Harriet Tubman for everything that she did, or like or to diss Nelson Mandela and say he's a sellout and stuff like that. So it's like. Yeah. There's certain things where you can't. You just not. You just don't say that. You might think like that, but you just you shouldn't say it because you have a yeah. you have a certain like position where you're influencing so many people and people look up to you and then you exactly. say that and it's like you know yeah. You gotta really really so have it's crazy. Back down, man, for sure, bro. I do not doubt yeah. that at all. Like, you gotta know what you're saying and say what you don't. Yeah. Please and thank you. Yeah. Now, um, are you familiar with any artists from Detroit? I I only know I only know the famous guys like the big dudes like right. I don't know like everybody like yeah 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 like, I'm talking like, about like big um, shots okay, so you know, maybe have you have yeah, you heard of line, um T Grizzly Yeah yeah I've heard of T Grizzly yeah yeah, yeah. okay so I mess you, I mess with him I mess with T Grizzly I mess with him yeah. did you know Sada Baby uh, I don't know Sada okay. yeah yeah I do I do I do okay. yes 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 yeah because he only has like one name rings a bell I don't know. yeah yeah. But yeah, yeah, okay. So for the most part, yeah. what you know is you know that Detroit has a certain sound. Yeah. And for the most part, my point here is this. I don't think Detroit's made any fucking revolutionary steps in making their sound in 10 years. And yeah. I think and I think Doughboy's Cash Out were the orchestrators of that. Yeah. Yeah. I think they set the tone for what people should sound like. Pablo Skywalker, like people in that, like yeah, kind of yeah. work. And after that, Detroit didn't sound different anymore. Like it's just been sounding like yeah. a variation of that for years. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Peasy yeah. people kind of just rap like them, and it's just rapping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Throughout hip hop and and Detroit, and that's it's the, not evolved, the popular sound. Like yeah, and it's, it's like never it's evolved. cool, but it's like you gotta evolve the sound. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, man. Like. Oh, what, it, what, what what do you guys what, what do you, who do you guys who do you think is actually like really like repping the authentic Detroit song like right now because like because when I hear like Sean Big Sean like you know does trap music he does like pop he does all this no, like, they don't sound like Big Sean. Own they like, are nowhere near Big so Sean. who do you say who's the guy who who's the poster boy would you say it's T Grizzly would you say it's who, uh, who do you think it's T Grizzly better than T Grizzly yeah. this people better than T Grizzly I feel like anyway like uh, uh yeah yeah. What's his name? Uh, Cash Kid. Cash Kid's good. Cash, Cash Kid is good. Yeah. And some of the, some of the, uh, it's a group called Band Gang. Some of them are decent. Some of them. Some of them. Yeah. Like, you can't, you gotta pick and choose. And I okay. can't tell you by name. I just know when I get in some of your bars. He's sweet. Uh, sure you bar? No. no. Uh, Band Gang. Yeah. yeah. He's sweet. Uh, who else? Uh, Sada Baby. Sada Baby is definitely one. Um, Dame Dot is cool. Dame Dot is cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, those are the really kind of like the upper edge, uh, all-star JR. All-star you know what JR. Like, those are kind of like yeah. the higher tier of the artists that are really kind of popping yeah. out here. Uh, that's really moving around. So uh, yeah. it's worth checking out. You know, a lot of them are pretty good. Um, yeah. You're probably going to encounter a lot of scam rap. So if that's up your alley, um, <laughs> yeah. uh, you'll be fine. Yeah. But that is like they made a thing that was recent. <laughs> was more of uh, people like that go up that that go up dead for them guy like of course yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> order like you know, go up that for that yeah. scam rap yeah a little yeah. cooler though because i heard some of his music and yeah. said, huh you said who go up dead 4000 oh right 
Yeah, and I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that kid, man. Yeah, I'm not feeling him. <laughs> it's a little bit more gangster. It's yeah. a, lot, a lot more gangster. Yeah, no, yeah, it's a lot more gangster than that. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that was my hot take. Like, I really do feel like we yeah. are due for a change here as far as the shift in the sound, for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I don't got. I, I agree with shit. you there, though. I agree with you. It's not a bad because I agree with you. It's like to me, it's not a bad sound, but like you said, it hasn't evolved right since then. You know what Nobody's I mean? built on it. Yeah, so uh, I definitely think that, man. And uh, like I said, I really don't have too much more on my docket, bro. That was just my hot take. Yeah. In the tub. You got anything else, Breezy? Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about uh, <laughs> Migos, actually. Um, I was talk, I was thinking about the Migos, you know, um, the, you know, I think Offset made a statement where he was like, you know, we're oh, the best okay. rap duo to ever do it and all that. And somebody was like, yeah, that's Cap, man. Like, you know, you, like you guys, you guys haven't dropped a hot single in like two years. Like, what are you talking about? Like, so what do you think about the Migos? Like, do you think, because I've been hearing some of the stuff they're dropping and I'm not really feeling it, man. Like the Taco Tuesday thing and, you know, neat, there's a couple of, uh, singles that they dropped, and I'm like, kind of like, what's going on? Are these guys losing the sauce? So, you know, yeah, man, the was killing the features. And we kind of brought up on our deck, but like, yeah. Recently, yeah. Um, just we, and I completely understand, and I agree with you. Um, yeah. Just all of those yeah. sentiments and points that you just hit, because yeah, man, where y'all yeah. been at? And I think they even went to the, to the yeah. no matter of saying that they're going to put two million dollars on it, that they number one or something yeah. like that. Like, and I yeah. think they will. It's the Mikos, man. I feel like they are uh, upper echelon artists. You know they are higher tier, but they have been delivering lackluster music. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to drop little seats, they got to be hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to drop something because cause they, they, they're claiming the album is going to be the best, like, 2000, 2001. Sorry, I mean, 20, 20, 2020 and 2021. They claim, like, what they're going to drop will be, like, fire. And I, I don't doubt it, but, like, coming, like, like coming to that album, like so far, I'm not impressed with any of the stuff that they've dropped. Like all the singles, like I have, I, like I have a couple of songs which are on my playlist. They last for like a couple of weeks or a week, and I, I drop them. Like I always like, you know, whatever's hot, and that those drinks are just not hitting. And like someone just said, like Cap, like you guys are not, you know, you think you're the best. Yeah, that's true. You're probably the best rap duo ever, but like you're not. Don't just say you're the best. Like produce music that actually like says that because exactly. you drop three, four singles and like nothing is really. And you know they had a single with Travis and Thug. You remember that that give no fucks joint? Like that, like when I saw when I saw the like 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 the, the like like who's gonna be featured? I was like, oh my god, this is the biggest thing since bread. Like, cause like how do you have Travis, Migos, and Thug on one song and it didn't pop up? Like it didn't, you know. Right. So it's like when that happened, I was like, hey man, is this co is this a coincidence? Like, anyway, it's Migos, so maybe let's give him a chance to see maybe the next joint. But the next joint came out, it still didn't pop. The next one, so like. I don't know, man. If you have Thugger and, and, and Travis on a joint, that shit should be number one, like straight up. There's no, you know, there's no debate about it. So I don't know how, how things will go with the album. Yeah, and I can totally agree, man. But yeah. I, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I really want to hear some more good yeah. music. Yeah. A lot of people have been yeah. refreshed and dropping albums, you know, during all of this shit. So uh, I definitely yeah. want to, I'm looking forward uh, to talking to you again, man. I definitely want to bring you back on. You got some unique yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. We can talk a little bit yeah, more. That would be dope, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Most certainly, man. That would be lit. Uh, go ahead, say your name. I'll say my name, and then we can make it do a little outro right quick. So, go ahead. All right, All right dope. Yep. So, this is Greasy Dub. Yep. Coming out of Africa, Zambia. I'm up in here. So, yeah, you know, be looking forward to, 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 to coming through on this podcast again. We had a good time, and, you know, let's do it again, man. All right, man. And I am. Jay Focus, and this is the Wake and Bake Podcast, boy. Yeah.